This video will explain the scenario when using Sydney Water Developer Direct. If your development is classified as minor works, you can apply for your Section 73 through either a Water Servicing Coordinator or Sydney Water Developer Direct. If you're not sure whether your project is minor or major works, watch the What's the Difference Between Minor and Major Works video. What's the process if you choose Sydney Water Developer Direct? Firstly, you need to apply online. It only takes a few minutes. You'll need to get a few documents together to fully complete the application. You'll need your developer approval, including development consent from council, building and subdivision plans, and a pre-allocated plan number from your surveyor. Once you've submitted your application, we'll allocate a dedicated case manager to assess your application. The case manager will assess both your building plans and your Section 73 requirements at the same time. Approving the building plans is usually the first step, and depending on your building location, we'll either issue your building plan approval or ask you to obtain a peg out. If you need a peg out, you can either use an authorised provider or Sydney Water Developer Direct can organise this for you. The peg out will locate the Sydney Water pipes and other assets that may be affected by your proposed development. This will let us work out whether you need to do anything to protect them. Once you've received your peg out, we'll confirm what you need before we can issue your building plan approval. We'll also determine if there's anything else you need for your Section 73 certificate. If all the connections are there already and you don't need any construction work, your case manager will confirm this in a letter. At the same time, we'll send your Section 73 certificate for you to give to Council. And that's your application finished. If, however, we find that you do need some construction work to get your Section 73 certificate, your case manager will talk you through the requirements and issue a Notice of Requirements letter outlining what you need to construct. We'll also give you a design to show you where your pipes need to go and a fixed price quote to do the work. At this point, you have a choice on how to complete your construction. You can continue to use Sydney Water Developer Direct to do the work, and if you decide to accept our quote, we'll coordinate the entire project, including all work and inspections, based on the quote we provided with your Notice of Requirements letter. To find out what may affect your construction costs, please check out our video. Once the work's done, your case manager can issue your Section 73 certificate. If you choose not to accept our construction quote, you must take your Notice of Requirements letter to a Water Servicing Coordinator who will manage your construction requirements. Once you've chosen your Water Servicing Coordinator, you must then decide on an accredited provider to construct these works. You'll find a list of licensed Water Servicing Coordinators and accredited providers on our website. Remember, you must have a Water Servicing Coordinator engaged before commencing construction work, as your Water Servicing Coordinator will then certify the work and submit the required documents to Sydney Water and will issue your Section 73 certificate. If you want to know more information, you're welcome to contact us at any stage or check out the other videos on our website.